If you want to gain full control on your IT infrastructure and IT expenses as well as IT projects, you can use GLPI. It is said to be one of the most complete open source IT service management system, which is not only having the IT assets inventory, but also helps you to manage all the IT tickets. Yes, built-in IT service desk or help desk will help you to track and maintain all the IT requests. When it comes to following the best practices, configuration management database in GLPI is a great feature. In your organization, you might be having various devices like servers, desktops, laptops, monitors, active components of network devices, passive components, projectors, and also printers and cartridges. Together with this, you might be having various phones, maintaining the record of SIM cards that who is the user of SIM cards. So this is a comprehensive system which will help you to keep the configuration management database up to date and at the same time, you can have the IT assets inventory as well. Built-in dashboards will give you an overview of all the IT assets as well as the help desk tickets. You can also track your IT expenses, contracts and suppliers. You can simply create a new inventory object, manage the user's database, link the user to the device and start tracking it. Any expense related to any asset can be directly recorded with that particular asset, which will help you to track various reports whenever needed. You can also track all the tasks of the project during the life cycle of the project. To get the best user experience, you can define your own forms and then you can publish those forms in GLPI. 360 degree control of your business in terms of IT is possible with GLPI. If you want to implement it on premises, you can do that as well, or you can take the support from GLPI. The third option is that you can take the cloud services from GLPI where you will be paying per agent cost. So let me take you to the website and let us see what is there in GLPI. GLPI dash projects.org and you can see the most complete open source service management software which is open source to manage help desk and IT assets and you can see that some of the well-known companies are using it you can organize your support easily with GLPI CMDB will help you to get the 360 degree control of your IT and business infrastructure all type of hardware, be it your network devices, servers, laptops, desktop, printer, scanner, monitor, all these can be linked here. And all the data center solutions, all the data center technologies can also be there. The record for the software can also be maintained here. And then you can see the impact and relationship between each asset, be it IT asset hardware or the software versus hardware, network devices and hardware. So which will let you know that if there is any failure on the network, so what services are being impacted because of this. I have given you an overview of GLPI. Of course, a lot is available on website. You can explore the website. GLPI is a web-based application which can be installed on any web server. On Ubuntu server, you can have your LAMP server or LAMP server installed. I have provided the link of those videos in the description below. You can go through it and you can start installing the LAMP server. If you are having any web server where your existing website is already hosted, you can upload your GLPI web application there and you can start configuring it. And if you are looking for the free web hosting, you can use AA panel for which I have provided the link in the description below. You can use Oracle cloud infrastructure, which will help you to get the VMs for free. And then you can have your web server installed for free. Once your web server is installed and configured, you can come back and install GLPI. I will be installing it on AA panel, which is currently hosted on my home lab. I have created a subdomain called glpi.syncprix.com and here is nothing available right now. And here is my AA panel, which is locally hosted here. So I'll be creating a new website here, which will be glpi.syncprix.com and I'll be applying the SSL certificate also and I'll redirect HTTPS here. Just click submit. It will take some time to process it. Download the community edition, GLPI project. Here is download. I will recommend you to download the stable version. So let it download. It's version is 10.0 and here is my glpi if i show you glpi.syncbrace.com you can see that nginx which is already installed now i'll be uploading this to root directory here so here is my glpi root directory i'll be simply uploading this just extract it the website and i'll change my site directory now, if I again refresh this, you can see that it will load the installation. But before I start the installation, I need to create the database. So I can use the web interface of AA panel to create the database. I'll be going here, database name GLPI. 
save it in my notepad so this will be glpi db glpi user and here is the password and just submit it now we will be running the installation wizard language english accept the terms and conditions click on install so it will be checking the compatibility for your environment to execute the glpi so you can see that all required extensions and modules are already available zip extension is required so first of all i'll go back to my web server here i'll go to php here and install extension i look for the zip extension here here is zip i'll install this zip extension in case you want to get the authentication from ldap server so you can use that but I'll not be using this right now. Let me try to enable BZ2. I'll go back to my A panel, install extension, look for BZ2. Here it is. Install this. So wait for the installation to complete. It is installing now. It will change the status. It is installed now and I'll restart the service again. Once the service is restarted, I'll just go here again and try again. It will check if this extension is enabled. Now you can see that all these extensions which were required is enabled. LDAP extension I'm not using because I'll this is for the test environment, but for production environment, if you are already having the authentication through LDAP server, so I will recommend you to use this because it will synchronize all the users from the LDAP server. Now continue and here it will ask you for the database connection. So it will be localhost glpi user and now you can see database connection is successful either you can create the new database i'll be using the existing database which we already created and we already gave the access to that user so we'll be using glpi db and continue with it click continue and if you want to send the usage statistics to glpi you can do that as well otherwise it's up to you so i'll be continuing with the default click next as you can see that GLPI web user interface is ready now. So we can simply log in by entering the default user ID and password with GLPI, GLPI, click sign in and here you are. So you are now logged into the web user interface of GLPI. So we'll be going back again here to AA panel in my website folder, root folder here. And in this one here is install. So you can either remove it or I'll be changing it the changing the file name here now if you refresh this again you will see that one of the errors has disappeared another is to change the password so we'll be changing the password here so all the passwords for all the users are changed now so your glpi setup is now ready to be configured in this video we have seen how to install glpi now the next step is to start configuring GLPI and start adding the assets, start resolving the tickets, creating the project. Let us move to next video and see how we can configure GLPI. <music>